Here is a Cisco router. Let's set the password to something secret. So I go into conf configuration terminal mode. I type enable secret blah. And then I write mount. This router now has a password blah. Let's say I forget the password. And then I need to do something called password recovery. Password recovery is something that every network engineer needs to know how to do. Someday during your career you're going to scrounge some routers for training or you're going to take over a network environment where the people forgot the password. The people who were previously running the environment have left and so nobody knows the password. This is just something, this is a fundamental skill you need to have, recovering the password on a Cisco router. Now the problem is that there are different password recovery procedures for different type, for all different Cisco boxes. Another problem is that sometimes you want to recover the password, but you want to keep the configuration that exists. So what do you do? You, you need to go to Cisco's website. So let's type in www.cisco.com and we'll go there. And now we need to search on password recovery. So if we do a search for 2500 password recovery, we should find a hit. So now here is pass, uh, document password recovery procedures. Password recovery procedures, this has a link to all password recovery procedures for all boxes. So let's go ahead and search in here on 2500. Okay, and we found it. So let's click there. So here is the password recovery procedure for a bunch of older routers, including the 2500. There are two types of password recovery. I mean, when you're executing password recovery, there's two ways to do it. One is where you just want to blow away the config. You don't care what's there. The other is where the router's config actually is important. It might be a WAN router for one of your sites. You forgot the password. You don't know what the password is, but it's important that you save the configuration. We're going to practice that second option because it's a little bit more complicated. And if you know how to recover the password while saving the configuration, then it's easy to recover the password and blow away the configuration. So we already have our terminal working, 9600 baud, no parity, 8 data bits, 1 stop bit, no flow control. So let's do, the next step is to do a show version command. So the configuration register is actually, it, it says it's 2142. It'll actually be 2102 at the next reboot. Let's pretend that we're not in enable mode right now because we don't know what the password is. And let's go on with our procedure. So we need to turn the power switch of the router off and turn it back on. And then we need to send a break signal sequence from the terminal keyboard within 60 seconds of the power up. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm power cycling my router off. And now I'm powering it on. And to send a break sequence in Z term, I need to use the miscellaneous send break menu option or the command B. And there I go. And it says abort. And I got this funky little uh, character here. If I hit question mark, it gives me a bunch of primitive commands. Now what do I need to do? There's the configuration register has 16 bits in it and you just need to set a particular bit which says boot up but ignore the startup config. The startup configuration is saved in non-volatile RAM on the router. So going through the procedure by the numbers we type we type O and it will print out the configuration register and then we type in O slash R 0x2142. It was 2102. It's this bit, the 4 here, which will cause it to ignore the saved configuration. 
Then we're going to type I, which will initialize the router, boot it up. So that way it's going to boot up while ignoring its startup configuration. So O, and you can see that 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 four bit is the actually the sixth bit from the right. Ignore configuration disabled. That's the status right now, meaning that we are not ignoring our configuration. Let's slash zero slash r zero x two one four two. Now if I type O. Oh, it's uh, printing out the config register at the last boot, 2102, so it didn't change that. Now we've we've done our 0 slash R, 0x2142, which, again, you can see what we did right there. And so now let's initialize, and we're going to boot up. This is a good time to talk about the, uh, the booting sequence. Uh, when we first start booting up, we boot up a bootstrap, which is in ROM. It's an ancient version of iOS. 11.0, 10.0CXB2. You know, that's like five year old iOS. That's in, um, actually, that's from 1998. And uh, that's just a bootstrap to help load the production iOS version, the more modern one that's in Flash. Because in ROM, you can't change it. In Flash, you can upgrade the, uh, the operating system. Now, here's what we're loading out of Flash. 12.05. So it's iOS mainline train version 12, fifth uh, maintenance release in the mainline train. The other thing here is the C2500-I-L. That's the feature set. We're running the Cisco 2500 feature set, which is uh, good. This is the image for this router, which means it'll work. That's always nice. The I means IP, so this has IP functionality. So I'm not going to talk about the L today. IP functionality is good. We're routing IP. That's what we're learning how to do. Um, there's no crypto cryptographic stuff here, so we're not going to be able to create any secure VPN tunnels or SSH or anything like that. But those features didn't exist in 12.0 mainline anyway. OK, would you like to enter the initial configuration dialog? We had a configuration on this router but we have told the boot ROM to ignore it. And so we boot it up as if this is a brand new router from the factory. The initial configuration dialog is sort of this friendly menu thing to help you set up your router. But you know, all that helps you set up is your very basic configuration on one or two interfaces. It's really useless. Uh, uh, you really don't want to use this configuration dialog. You just want to configure stuff manually. So let's see, I'm going to type no. I press return to get started. OK, I can do that. Pressing return. And now it shows you that all of your interfaces are administratively down. Since we ignored our startup configuration, there's no password set. So I can enable. If I do a show start, I can see the enable secret. This is encrypted, strongly encrypted is in the startup config. But we're not running on the startup config. We ignored the startup configuration. What we want to do now is copy startup-config. There's actually a dash there. It's just not showing up on my screen. Running config. Again, running dash config. So something's not showing up on my screen there. And that's not quite what I expected. No. Copy, start, run. Destination file I am running config. Maybe I just misspelled the, uh, the, the, the startup config or the running config above. So copy, start, run. Now the running config has the enable the secret password, which we didn't remember. But you know, we're already in enable mode because we've already got this pound prompt sign. That's what the pound prompt sign means. So I can go into conf t mode, configuration terminal, and in configuration mode, I can configure the box. Enable secret Cisco. And now, keep in mind, I already copied the startup config to the running config. And so now I've 
now I, my running config is what I want it to be, except now I fixed the enable password. There's one exception. Show IP interface brief. All of the interfaces are administratively down. That always happens when you copy the startup config to the running config, and it's for a weird reason. Basically, what you're going to need to do is go into each interface and do a no shutdown. Now, it's some, not something you're expected to be able to do yet or to understand yet, but later on when you're doing the uh, uh, the password recovery and you have actually you have interfaces that you're using, you want to to uh, uh, you want to enable them. Again, let's finish up the documentation here. We type 0 slash R 0x2142. We typed I to boot up. We did a copy start run. And now we've uh, um, we typed enable secret to set our new enable password. We executed the no shutdown. But there's one other problem. Our configuration register is still 0x2142. So if we reload this router again, it's going to ignore its startup config again, which is not what we want now that we've already fixed the configure, fixed the, uh, the password. So conf t config dash register. Again, there's a dash there. 0x2102. And now if I do a show version, at the bottom of the show version, it says my config register is currently 2142, but it will be 2102 at the next reload. Okay, so I've successfully saved my old config and recovered the password so that way I can manage this box. Mission accomplished. Let's do a write mem and we're done. And these boxes are slow, so the right now takes a while, it's done. Okay.